Hey Blenderbub here, I got a little trick for you, it's very nice to enhance images when you zoom in. So I tried this in Photoshop but it didn't look good, here's the problem. I got this dinosaur drawing here and if you zoom in, you can see all these artifacts here. This is blown up three times, the original image is 1024 by 1024, I made a timeline that is uh, 3072 by 3072. So uh, this, is what it, this is what it looks like, you can see all the artifacts, you can see the little steps here, the jagged edges and everything, doesn't look good. But here's the thing, you get an option here called Super Scale, and if I turn it on, woo, look at this, everything is clean, no more jagged images, it's really, really nice. Now you have different options, uh, this is uh, two times enhanced, I can try two times, two times I get some like weird stuff, uh, let's say four times, four times is not as good actually because you can see I still have jagged edges, so let's go back to two times enhanced, and now I get my clean result. So uh, yeah, this is quite impressive. Now let's see what it looks like if I try it on an image. This here, let's say you want to use this as a texture or whatever projection, whatever it is. It's also a 1024 image that has been blown up three times. And uh, this is what it looks like before the uh, super scale. I turn it back on and now you see it's much nicer. But here, uh, actually that's because I already played with it. By default, you will get this, you will get here you can see the compression, it doesn't look good. So you can see you have this noise reduction that you can play with to reduce the noise. So that's really nice. Then you can play with the different uh, settings here. Uh, you see if I go two times here, it looks good. It already removed all the artifacts. So I uh, play with all of them and uh, see what it does. And uh, you have a sharpness also that you can play with, low, medium, high. And uh, the noise reduction here, See this one, I cannot really adjust it manually, it's just low, medium, high. But if I go enhance, then you can manually tweak it the way you want it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's a very nice way to zoom in on images. And for textures, sometimes we get low res textures and want to blow them up. I think this is the way to go. And uh, I don't know if Superscale is part of the free version of Resolve. Probably not. But uh, if you use Resolve a lot and if you do compositing uh, and you want to use Fusion, if you buy the license, then the license is good for both Fusion and DaVinci Resolve, so you can do both at the same time. And that's pretty cool. All right, so that's a little trick I just wanted to share with you guys. Okay, bye.